I think this question is going to really test and challenge your understanding of uh, the impact of taxes on welfare, in particular consumer and producer surplus. Let's have a look at the question. A government imposes an indirect tax on a product. We're told there's normal demand and supply curves. Demand curves sloping downwards, supply curves sloping upwards. The tax raises $100 million. What effect will this tax have on the value of the combined consumer surplus and producer surplus? Probably going to need to draw a diagram for this. Take a moment or two to do that. Press the pause button and I'll be back in a few seconds with the right answer. Okay, I hope you did draw a diagram. It's one of those questions where a diagram in the exam will be handy to make sure you get the right answer. The correct answer to this question is D, it will fall by more than $100 million. Let's have a look at why. So the most important thing to revise is the idea of uh, welfare, com consumer surplus, the area underneath the demand curve and above the price, shown in green there. Producer surplus, the area above the supply curve and below the price. Community surplus is the combined consumer and producer surplus. In this case, it will be area R, S, Q, if there's a quantity T and a price P. Now, with an indirect tax, the supply curve shifts to the left. In my diagram, shifts from S1 to S2, and quantity demanded contracts from Q1 to Q2. So if we think about the combined consumer surplus and producer surplus before the tax, it was the area IEC, the area below the demand curve and above the supply curve, a big triangle. After the tax, the new price, the new equilibrium price is A, and the equilibrium quantity is Q2. So consumer surplus falls from IEF to IDA. Producer surplus falls from CFE to uh, ADB. The tax revenue, we're told, is $100 million. That's the area ADHG. But in fact, OK, that's tax revenue to the government, but there's a, a deadweight loss of community surplus shown by the, the triangle to the right of quantity Q2 equal to area D, E, H. And that deadweight loss is the key to the question. So the tax is raised to $100 million. So some of the consumer and producer surplus has gone to the government, but actually the combined loss of welfare is more than 100, and it's shown by that deadweight loss triangle. So not an easy question, one where the diagram would really help you to get to the right answer.